Hi, my name is Meta, and I'm here to introduce and demonstrate D-Link's Auto Surveillance VLAN. Auto Surveillance VLAN, or ASV, is a feature on our WebSmart 3 switches and our IP surveillance products. It allows you to easily create a hybrid network capable of handling both data and surveillance network traffic. Currently, many surveillance networks are set up on different networks than an existing data network. While this can provide for a secure and reliable solution, it's often very expensive to implement. You have the cost of the additional hardware you need to purchase, you have to install additional cabling into your building, and there's the added operating and maintenance costs involved in this kind of a setup. In many of these environments, you already have a data network in place, such as in an office environment, you have an office PC network already set up. So why not use this existing infrastructure and connect your surveillance equipment to this hardware? You could create a hybrid network capable of handling both your data and surveillance network traffic. This enables you to better utilize your existing hardware and cabling, substantially reducing the cost of deployment. But there's a problem with this, though. If your data network experiences a heavy traffic event, such as P2P downloading, mass file transfers, or if there's a broadcast storm due to a worm outbreak, your surveillance video can freeze, it can skip, or it can drop out completely, and your surveillance system must be able to function even during events such as this. This is where ASV comes in. ASV automatically detects surveillance devices attached to your network and creates a separate surveillance VLAN for them, separating your data and your surveillance network traffic. It then gives your surveillance traffic high priority to ensure that it gets priority over your other network traffic. By doing this, your surveillance traffic is always delivered on time, even when your data network is experiencing a heavy traffic event. So, you get a reliable surveillance network, reduced costs of deployment, operation, and maintenance, and it's easy to set up. So now, I'm going to demonstrate what ASV can do for you. Today we have two basic surveillance systems set up for you. On the left, we have a non-D-Link surveillance system, which uses a non-D-Link smart switch and a non-D-Link IP camera. On the right, we have a D-Link surveillance system with ASV enabled. Today we'll be using a DGS 1210 10P web smart switch and a DCS 3710 IP camera. We're going to connect this Ixia traffic generator to both networks at the same time. It's going to simulate a broadcast storm, such as when you have a worm outbreak. And we're going to see how these surveillance systems handle the extra load and what happens to the surveillance video as a result. All of this equipment is as it is out of the box. We haven't changed any of the settings except for the switches where we did change the IPs so that we can go ahead and see the camera video on our monitors here. Before we get started, I'm going to have to make two changes to the D-Link switch. First, I'm going to have to enable ASV. Second, I'm going to add our laptop as a video management server to the surveillance VLAN. All right, it's a little bit louder right now because I've already turned on the Ixia traffic generator. Let's go ahead and make those two changes to our D-Link switch. Let's log in. And I'm going to enable all those surveillance VLAN. Right there. Now I'm going to add this laptop to the surveillance VLAN to act as our video management server. I've already copied the MAC address, so I'll just paste that there. All right, and that's it. Note that those are the only two changes I had to make. Our IP camera has actually already been added to the surveillance VLAN automatically by ASV. If I wanted, I could connect more cameras and they would also automatically be added for me. Let's go ahead and connect the traffic generator to the switches. And let's start the test. All right, and as you can see on the non-D-Link solution, the video feed has already frozen, whereas on the D-Link surveillance solution with ASV, it's continuing to run normally as if nothing had ever happened. Now, in a real-life scenario, this means that on the non-D-Link solution, you would have no surveillance video for this period of time when you have that heavy traffic event. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the traffic generator from the switches. And I'm going to plug them back in so you can see what's going on once more. I'll even switch the cables for you too. 
All right, and in. And again, as you can see, on the non-dealing solution, the video feed has already frozen. And on our dealing solution, it's continuing to run normally. Now we could continue and expand our surveillance network by simply adding more D-Link cameras and just plugging them in. Or I could move this camera to a new location by unplugging it and just plugging it in again at another location. ASV does the work for me. I don't have to do any more configuration. So this has been D-Link's Auto Surveillance VLAN. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us on the web at www.dlink.com.